Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and today we're starting a new series on Bloodborne. Oh yes. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mysteries. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Okay, so it seems our character has come here looking for pale blood. Whatever here is, right? I'm gonna start with the professional. Uh, actually, there's a couple of things I want to change. Where is face, face, face? Let's give him a beard. <laughs> Not something like that. And I'm sure. Okay. Signed and sealed. Now, ah, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. So our character came here looking for paid ah, blood. You found yourself a hunter. He found this old man who did uh, some type of blood contract with him. And then a beast tried to kill him which set itself on fire and the messengers, they are called those little guys, saved you, him. There's this note here, which I suppose is what our character carried to Yarnam. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. This is all we know. We need to seek pale blood. And we know we're a foreigner because our clothes are the foreign garb. No typical clothing for Yarnam. Perhaps it is a foreign origin. It is said, after all, the traveler came to Yarnam from afar. Man, the aesthetics in this game, right? Are amazing. So there's a guy here who you should die to. I'll try to kill him, but it doesn't matter if you die to him. He gets stunned on every attack you do to him. Well, if you don't. Again. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm stuck. I need space. Okay. 
Well, if you manage to get behind him and do a backstab, he just dies one shot. You don't need a weapon to kill him. You just don't have a lot of space there to maneuver yourself behind him. And so after we die, we wake up in the hunter's dream. Which makes me wonder, can our character not really die? Is he trapped? Between the waiting world and the hunter's dream? Yeah. So, the best trick weapon is the cane. But I just... I, I can't play with this weapon for some reason. I, I just can't. I should say the best starting trick weapon for skill. So if you see our stats, skill is 15, the cane has a good scaling with skill, but it still does less damage than the other weapons at the start of the game, and its moveset is weird, so... Plus the shock lever is serrated on both its forms, which means it does extra damage to beasts, which will be useful in Yarnam. We're back to the clinic where we started. If we go back up, the door is now closed. Are you... out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. Go I then. am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. <laughs> now, go, and good hunting. Okay, so there is this NPC here, she's called Yosefka, she's the owner, I guess, of this clinic. And she gave us her blood. This rare blood veil is a product of a slow and careful refinement process, likely devised by the doctor herself. It's a usable item, if you use it, you have to come back and get another one if you want to. It just heals a lot, right? But notice how she met us, right? Right now, she met us, she knows we are going out on the hunt. It's gonna be important later. Now this guy is getting our blood echoes, that's why his eyes are glowing. And I'll try to show you... Wait, let me remove my weapon. Just get behind him. Oh. Come on. Okay. Yeah, see? Not wearing a weapon. Still a one shot. Uh, your visceral attack, the thing you do after the backstab, does not scale with weapon damage, it scales with level. So technically you can backstab everybody to death, even without wearing a weapon. As long as you level up. And hello, hello and welcome to Central Yarnum. This is the greatest landmark we can see from here, the Great Bridge, leading into the Cathedral Ward. Well, let's not hurry ourselves. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ, what's your timing? But Almost killed him with just bullets there.
We got some Molotovs. Since the tragedy, tragedy that struck old Yarnam, fire has become a staple in beast hunts and is thought to cleanse impurity. So we are now in central Yarnam and we know that there is a place called Old Yarnam which was where the tragedy occurred. What kind of tragedy? We don't know yet. But we can surmise it had to do with the beasts. We can hear the first boss screaming in the distance. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help, if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Okay, so he's also an outsider. Let's see if he knows anything about pale blood. Pale blood, you say? Hmm, never heard of it, but if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace the healing church's special blood, or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Across the valley. Okay, that's your so we have some directional information here too. We know that that is the cathedral ward. This is the great bridge he's talking about. So that is east. And we can return to the hunter's dream to talk with German right now, but we don't really need to. We'll go there when we unlock the shortcut. Of course, I forgot to show there is a shortcut here, right? There's this door. We'll open it from the other side. And we also picked up pebbles. Pebbles are used to draw enemies' attention. They look like eyes, I know. They are eyes. They are actually eyes. Oh, for real? We can jump here, but we won't. We'll go the long way around, take it slow, clear everything. Here you want to be careful, these guys, they can attack you through the railing here, so don't try to cheese it, just pull them back. Yeah, see this guy with uh, the prong, or whatever it's called? He can attack them pretty far away and through the railing, so... Better make sure you're safe. You can also open a kind of shortcut here, I don't know if it's actually a shortcut, but it's never needed, per se. It leads back to the clinic and that ladder we went up. There is a guy back here, you don't need to kill him, and if you're a new player I suggest you don't. Unless you wanna practice your party. But if he hits you it really hurts, right? Oh no. Should have reacted sooner. Yeah, see, he almost killed me. Didn't expect the grab attack. But he throws a lot of veils, vials, so if you can kill him without taking too much damage, he will drop some for you. 
Also, you notice all the survivors have these these lanterns in front of their houses. They actually burn incense. It's supposed to ward the beasts off. Are you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? But they're not very friendly. They just want to be left alone. Lads, you've come on. You'd open the door on a night of the hunt. Yeah. Away with you. Now. Okay, okay. I saw it coming, goddammit. So, I don't know if it's audible on YouTube because it's. Uh, the volume is very low, but when they die, they say things like foul beast, cursed beast. Which makes you wonder what they are actually seeing when they look at you. If they think you're a beast, I mean, I look more human than they do, right? Look at them. This town's finished, he says. So now, if you rush and kill him, there's gonna be some people coming up this staircase there. So be ready for them. Okay, they got stuck on the stair this time on the ladder. The staircase, I guess. Not the ladder. Oh no, 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 no. She says, you are not wanted here, it's all your fault. I guess when it says it's all your fault, he means you outsiders, right? Not me specifically, I just got here. We can see two items we cannot get. The one behind that door here. And one up there. What I care more is for those two guys to walk away so I can go get the gun wielding guy because he has a very advantageous position over here I'd rather he's dead you wanna be aggressive against these guys you do a lot of damage at the start of the game or they have a lot very low health I guess but you don't want to give them the chance to overrun you or even attack you for that matter you can stagger them on every attack Okay, I guess not that way. I'm gonna clear these guys mostly for the blood vials, vials, wheels, I don't know, I'm gonna say it both ways. I know the word is vials, but I hear a lot of people call it wheels and it's stuck. And I think here we can find our first upgrade material. Oh no, it's just uh, blood echoes in a box. Level up stuff. Is it here then? Yes, this is how you upgrade your weapons. Got another blood vial. Now there is a shortcut here. I don't suggest you take it yet. We're gonna come back to it. I don't reckon you're from round here. Well, <laughs> stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> okay. There are some crows here. The crows attack on a straight line. They can overwhelm you easily because they can stun lock you. 
but if you just sidestep, they can never hit you. A hundred percent, they cannot hit you. They only attack in front of them. When you get some oilerns, oilerns are used to increase fire damage. It increases the damage of the next fire source, so it doesn't have a period that it works or anything. You throw it at the enemy, and then the next fire attack does increase damage. Also, this guy, if you want to backstab him, you should rush beyond him because he's scripted to turn around. And you just do that. You've noticed we're picking up a lot of Molotovs and they're gonna be very useful for the area boss here. We can go grab that item behind the gate we couldn't get before. There is another gate here with an NPC behind it that we cannot open yet. There is three dogs in total here. Be careful, don't go overextending yourself. Though if you rush them there, you can hit all four of them with each attack. So, if you're feeling confident, you can just... Oh, come on. Stupid dog. Come on. What you want to do with the dogs is backstab, backstep them. There is a lot of enemies whose attacks are very easily avoidable, but just... Oh, come on. That was late. But just backstepping and then attacking them. Rats are the same. You can just backstep, attack when they come for you, and you should always avoid and hit them that way. Well, unless shit like what happened here happens. So now we're on the bridge, right? That's the cathedral ward over there. We can see the big clock tower. And at that end of the bridge is the gate, I guess, to the cathedral ward, but we don't want to go there yet. We first need to pick the coolest armor in the game. Pick up the coolest armor in the game. This puts us right above the plaza that we were fighting on before. You can see they're burning some kind of beast in the middle. It's huge. Then if you go back here... Oops. Well, it's not a battery on my controller. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm gonna come down here. Here. Don't fall all the way down. You'll probably die if you fall from high up. Now, these guys are very easy. You just have to... Open them this. They have very slow attack so it's pretty easy to party them. Nice. Any bloodstone shard we can find out in the wild is... Oh, come on. Oh, is it too late now? Are you for real? So, in Bloodborne, you can use your health to get some bullets. So I'm gonna do this right now. Just to keep our stock up. If you do this often, you'll just never run out of bullets. Oh, that was a mistake, but whatever. Accidental. Okay. Now this guy is a bit tougher than the others upstairs. 
but you got it. You can just parry him. Well, he also gets stunned by your attacks, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. Oh god. Okay, we almost lost that sword. And we got the best armor set in the game. One of the standard articles of a hunter attire fashioned at the workshop. A fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing Yarnam's beastly threat. Accompanied with a short cape to wipe away blood. Okay. No, there's nothing really back there, but th just kill the rats for the blood echoes. And sometimes they drop uh, blood vials or throwing knives. And they're very easy to kill, so why not? Let me make sure I'm not forgetting any items back here. Nope. Also, sometimes they hide items in their bodies. <laughs> you see, it's not very visible. So always walk on the corpse, make sure. No, that was just a... Okay, so we're done with this part of Yarnam. Uh, now, if we go back, we're gonna encounter those two beasts on the bridge. And they are very nasty. You can actually kill them fairly easily, I guess, if you can successfully parry them and use your visceral attacks to iframe the second one. But they do a lot of damage and if one hits you, it usually stun locks you enough for the other one to kill you, these two guys. So now we're gonna use that uh, shortcut that I showed you earlier we didn't take. We're gonna drop back down here. I mean, I think in, in my mind this is the path of least resistance. These dogs are danger for no gain. They will just drop a blood vial or two. And they are very dangerous. We'll drop here. Kill this. Kill this. This one broke out of its cage. Now, there's more to do that way, but we won't go there until we kill the first boss. It's the way forward, essentially. We can do it now to get some XP and stuff, but it's not really needed. This would lead back up to the bridge if it wasn't destroyed. Let's just get the cold blood you. Now there's a few enemies here that every time you pass through I suggest killing them. I'm probably not gonna do it here. But every time I mean. This guy always drops four bullets. You can single-handedly keep up your supply of bullets. And we also got a pungent blood cocktail. A mature blood cocktail that releases a pungent odor when thrown that attracts bloodthirsty beasts. A precious tool in sadly short supply. In Yarnam, they produce more blood than alcohol, as the former is the more intoxicating. This will be very useful in a certain location in the future. When the hunt began, the healing church abandoned us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as they burned old Yarnam to the ground on that moonlit night. So, a couple of things. The bridge we are trying to use seems to be blocked. We'll find out for sure, but it seems to be blocked. And it seems that they burned old Yarnam to the ground. Since the tragedy that struck old Yarnam, fire has become a staple in distance, so I'm guessing the healing church burned old Yarnam, right? Now, if you go up here, there's a couple of enemies. Easy kills. And proceeding further upwards would get you to the bridge again. 
We are now on the other side of the dogs. This is the broken uh, staircase we were saw earlier. And this way you have skipped these two beasts. I said dogs earlier, but they are beasts. And then if you go here... We got a shortcut back to, back to Gilbert. Across the map, yeah, the nothing new. <laughs> now, I said there's a few enemies you want to be killing around here. One of them is this guy down here that drops the bullets. He always drops four bullets. It's very useful. And then there's these two guys, which I uh, realistically you just have to uh, parry twice, and you'll get six blood fields in total. But it can't go wrong, like this, almost wrong, but it's okay. Eh, four, whatever. Down there is a shortcut that we don't have access to yet. It's a blocked elevator, don't think there's any items here, no. And then this just leads to the other side of that arch. I guess, whatever this is, Archway. Okay. So, just because I'm not sure if any dialogue is gonna be skipped if I don't do this now, I'll return to the Hunter's Dream to talk to German. Because we're gonna be killing the first boss soon. You see, the doll. This is where you level up. She's still not available to us because we have no insight. You see below our blood echoes the eye symbol. It says zero. You get that. Uh, you get your first insight from seeing the first boss. Aha! You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am... German. She almost forgot. Friend to you, Hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what Hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, should it please you. This was once a work Okay. So Kerman is obviously old, she's uh, an old hunter, <laughs> pun intended, and she sustains this dream, he helps the hunters and he's the host of this place. How exactly? Don't ask me. Here you can fortify weapons, you cannot level up yet, but you can definitely upgrade your weapons and we'll do that. Not that it will make a lot of difference on the first boss. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, hold the scourge of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Yeah. Escape. So I guess we are trapped between... The hunter's dream and... At the waking world. So we're going back to Central Yarnum now. We're gonna equip our oiler and our molotovs.
Where did he come? He shouldn't have come. Or whatever. Uh, yeah, I wanna throw them back. I don't wanna fight them along with the big guy, so... Come on. You have seen me. Come on. You have seen me. Jesus Christ. Come on. You freaking chicken. Okay. And now you can just backstab this guy. Now this boss is really simple. So of course I'm going to screw it up and die because I'm recording, but whatever. Uh, we're just going to use our all our Molotovs. I mean, there's no other need for them this early in the game or later that much for that matter so we're just gonna use oil urns and molotovs on him ideally you free throw them yeah because otherwise oh i fucked up i'm dead no i'm not dead okay because if you don't free him you can miss very easily by throwing above him, see, exactly like that. Yeah, see, it does double damage with the urn. And then you just wanna smack him. He doesn't do much. Just stay behind him. He screams and stuff, but honestly, doesn't do much other than that. I know you cannot see, but it's the simplest way. Just stand behind him and smack him. We got pretty close to dying, but <laughs> thankfully we didn't. And we got the Sword Hunter Buds. Oh, come on. One of the badges is crafted by the Healing Church. The Silver Sword is a symbol of a Church Hunter. Ludwig was the first of many Healing Church Hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. We're gonna learn more about this too. And as you can see, we now have four inside. I think it's one for seeing the boss and three for killing it. And then this is the way we're supposedly wanna go, but there is no way through. So we're gonna call this an episode. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.